I think he did well in the first part, but I think the second part will be will be problematic. And I think the main takeaway, at least in terms of the media coverage, is his unwillingness to accept the outcome, sort of wait and see how it goes. That's a real issue, for I think, for the Republican Party, if they have a candidate unwilling to accept the outcome, even in states that Republican governors are, are controlling, states with the Republican Secretary of State who are overseeing the elections, right? It's just going to look like it's a real problem for the Republicans. Listen, I think you have to use some common sense. I think we're going to have to see it. And you know what? That's fine. We want a fair fight. But what I saw over the last few days coming out and what I've seen in the WikiLeaks stuff coming out, it hasn't been a fair fight. I see positions. I see what Hillary tells people in stump speeches. I see what she says in her emails. Which one are her voters voting for? I don't know, but I have a feeling I know. I'm astonished by the fact that Trump would not agree to the outcome. When the campaign first began, there were 17 on stage, all agreed to support the one except him. If he doesn't win, then it's rigged. He does not want to play by anybody's rule except his rules.